Happening now. Here we go, Connie. Space junk. Space junk <laughs> heading for Earth. Uh, we've got some good news, though, coming out of NASA just over the past couple of hours. You know, it's expected to crash between now and Saturday, and it's being pinpointed really to Friday afternoon. This old satellite is said to be as big as a bus, but experts, they really at this point have no specific idea where or when it will crash. I wanted to show you a live tracker, but unfortunately, I can show you the page. This is it. It's overloaded at this point. It won't even load up on my computer this morning because so many people are tracking this thing online. I had a chance to stop by the Arizona Challenger Space Center in Peoria this week. One of the space gurus there tells me this is one of the largest pieces of space debris to fall to Earth in about 30 years. Remember 30 years ago, Skylab fell to the ground. That was such a huge deal then. He says we shouldn't worry about it. He's excited, actually, about the possibility of a light show in the sky. But if we're facing, uh, you know, if the Earth is on that side when it comes in, it should be something to see. And... Uh, they say that some of the larger pieces, uh, if it does come down during the day, we'll be able to see it. See, most of us are kind of worried. He says it should be something to see. Uh, Dermer says this thing is tumbling. It's rolling over in space, which causes it to change speed and direction, and that's why there's so much uncertainty right now. He did say some of the pieces could be as large as 300 pounds. If you find space junk, don't touch it. NASA wants you to contact them so they can come pick it up. Take a look at my computer. Uh, this is an update from NASA just within the last few hours. NASA saying reentry is now expected again during the afternoon tomorrow. The satellite will not be passing over North America during that time period. So NASA optimistic that this won't land in the U.S. We'll watch and see coming up on GMA. You can hear from the only person on record to have ever been hit by space junk. See, now I'd put that on my resume. That's something to, to brag about. <laughs> I I, it seems too. weird, but. And I've been practicing this thinking I was going to catch it, too. Just 300 oh, pounds. Yeah, yeah good no. luck with that. Good luck with that. <laughs>